first things first, you'll need Mocha, which is a powerful tracking plugin. Get your clip, add Mocha to it, and click the little icon to open Mocha. You can set your start and end points for your track by dragging these little red bars. Once you get on a frame which your track area is clearly visible on, press this little icon or Ctrl plus L and left click on all the corners of the area you want to track. Right click to stop placing points. If you're having trouble aligning it properly, you can hold Z and drag left click to zoom in and out of the screen. You can change the bevel or smoothness on the corners of the area being tracked by dragging the diagonal bars outwards. In the track tab, make sure all track types are on, including perspective. Then press the left care button or the little track forwards button to start automatically tracking forwards. Looking good so far. Move your playhead back to the frame you started tracking on, which you can tell when there's little white dots in your handles and start tracking backwards. A common error that can happen is when another object covers your object, which you can fix by tracking that object and then putting that track layer above your original track. To disable tracking on an object or layer, you can toggle the gear icon on or off. Similarly, you can disable viewing a layer by toggling the eye icon on and off. Now the second track is what's called a track mat, and will act as though the screen disappears there, so your track will be a little less wonky when you retrack it. My track hits both the dumpster and the close wall, so I track both objects. In this situation, my track simply didn't work well, even with the extra layers, so I added manual keyframes at intervals and let the track complete the in-betweens. To put something where you've just tracked, on the left side click insert clip and press import. You can now add your own image or video. Now my logo is there, but it looks out of place. To fix that, drag and move the edges of your image to fit the environment. If you need to move your media or fix it up a little bit, click the insert tab and then click on the transform tab to move it. The other tabs can also be helpful, so be sure to play around with them if you're not getting the result you're looking for. Once you're all done with that, save and close out of the mocha window to see your glorious track not there. To fix that, click module renders, render and set module to insert composite or insert cutout. I prefer cutout because I can have much finer control over the tracked object, but if you're happy with how it looks right now, composite works just fine. My final touches are duplicating the layer, removing mocha from the bottom layer to have it background again, and then modifying the tracked logo with tint, opacity, and setting the blend mode to overlay. If you have an object blocking your way that your media is clipping into, you can fix that by duplicating your tracked layer, going back into mocha, importing any image and resizing it to fit the object, leaving mocha, and using it as a track map by applying the track map key to your original image, setting it to reverse, and finally setting the map to the object blocking it. Done.